morning everybody this is a nice day nice to come back for English class well I'm so happy for today what about you are you happy okay firstly I would like to welcome to daring classes in learning English. I would like to say welcome to Bina Insan University. Today is meeting two. We are going to talk about description for general English. I will repeat once more. Our topic for today is about Description for general English. Competence indicators or skills. There are four goals of English learning. The students are expected to be able to Number one, tell about English. Number two, tell the importance of English. Number three, differentiate between EFL and EST. Number four, write the conclusion about the material. Before I start to explain the material, firstly, I would like to tell the goals of learning English. Okay, I will repeat once more so that more clear. There are four goals for learning English that the topic is about description for general English. Okay. What are the goals? The goals are the students are expected to be able to number one, the students are expected to be able to tell about English. The goals number two for learning English that the students are expected to be able to tell the importance of English. And then the goals number three for learning English that the students are expected to be able to differentiate between EFL and EST. The goals number four that the students are expected to be able to write a conclusion about the material. So, at the end of learning, the students are expected to be able to get the goals, tell about English, tell the importance of English, differentiate between EFL and EST, and the students are expected also to be able to write a conclusion between the materials. Okay, that's the goals for learning English as competence indicators or skills. I think, is it clear? I will continue. The next point A, the importance of English. Okay. Language is important to communicate. Language is important to communicate. In communication with other people, 
we need language because language is a means of communication and universal human ability according to Brooks and Kemper 2012 page 2 okay based on the statement language is the method of human communication based on the statement okay we conclude together that language is the method of human communication. It becomes important of communication through which consists of a set of sounds and written symbols which are used by the people of a particular country for talking or writing. And then in this case, yeah, the role of English language, yeah. In this case, the role of English language has changed over the years. It means that, uh, it means that the role of English language has changed over the years. It has been considered as foreign language (EFL), the language of science and technology (EST). Yeah, so, the views of role influence how the language is treated in the curriculum. Yeah. So, I would like to repeat once more so that clear. Okay. Point A, the importance of English. Okay. Language is important to communicate because in communication with other people, we need language. Yeah, because language is a means of communication and universal human ability. So, it can be concluded that a language is the method of human communication. That is why that language is uh, important to communicate. Yeah. So, in this case, the role of English language has changed over the years. It has been considered as EFL English as foreign language and it has been considered as EST yeah. a language of science and technology so this this slide from this slide I would like to explain first that's about English as foreign language or EFL Teaching English as a foreign language or TEFL refers to teaching English to students whose first language is not English. Once more, I would like to repeat once more so that more clear. Yeah. Number one, English as a foreign language or EFL. Teaching English as a foreign language or TEFL refers to teaching English to students whose first language is not English. So it's called as English foreign language, EFL, or teaching English as a foreign language. Yeah. Okay. Once more, teaching English as a foreign language or TEFL refers to teaching English to students whose first language is not English. And then TEFL usually occurs in the student's own country either within the state school system or privately example pretty in and after hours language schools or with a tutor TEFL lectures may be native or non-native speakers of english so the conclusion English as a foreign language or EFL, yeah. teaching English as a foreign language or TEFL refers to teaching English to students whose first language is not English. It's different with EST. Okay, what are the difference? Next slides, I would like to explain. Okay, this one. The first one is about EFL. The second one is about EST, English for Science and Technology.
Okay, number two, English for Science and Technology or EST. English for Science and Technology or EST is designed is designed to help international undergraduates, graduate students, and professionals become more comfortable using English as a common language in the fields of science and technology. Okay, I will repeat once more. English for Science and Technology or EST is designed to help international undergraduates yeah, is designed to help international graduate students, undergraduate students, and professionals become more comfortable using English as a common language in the fields of science and technology. So it's different between EST and EFL before that I, I have that I have explained. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If the first slide. Teaching English as a foreign language refers to teaching English to students whose first language is not English. Yeah. But in English for Science and Technology, it is designed to help international undergraduates and designed to help international graduate students and professionals become more comfortable using English as a common language in the fields of science and technology. In a highly interactive learning, environment mixing group, and individual project work within class and out of class, and activities and visit students improve their overall English language skills as well as the critical thinking, oral presentation, interviewing, and research skills needed as international scientists, engineers, and technical experts. According to Harmer, 2007, page 28. Yeah, well, I have explained to you the differentiate between EFL and EST as the importance of English. Okay, I will repeat once more so that it's more clear for you. Yeah. In point A, I have explained about the importance of English. Yeah, that language is important to communicate because language is the method of human communication. Yeah. And then in this case, the role of English language has changed over the years. There are English as a foreign language that is called as EFL. And then English for Science and Technology, or it is called as EST. So there are some difference. There are the difference be between EFL and EST that I have explained before. Okay, I hope that all of my students can understand what are the different what are the different what are the different the what are the different yeah. What are the difference? The different. What are the difference between EFL and EST? Yeah. So that the goals. Yeah. So so that the goals of English learning number number three. Uh, the students are expected to be able to differentiate between EFL and EST. Yeah. Okay, next slide, point B, I would like to tell and explain about English descriptions for computer science. English is the international language in order it needs to be mastered by everyone, especially for perspective in area, the word of work.
English for Computer Science will also be introduced to the general view of learning English to improve student skills in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Okay, I will repeat once more. English descriptions for computer science. Okay, English is the international language. In order, it needs to be mastered by everyone, especially for perspective in area the world of work. English for computer science will also be introduced to the general view of learning English to improve student skills in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Okay, this course is designed to introduce the students of computer science on the basic concepts of the use of English, both oral and written. Okay, okay, I will repeat once more. Yeah. In point B, English descriptions for computer science, this course is designed to introduce the students of computer science on the basic concept of the use of English, both oral and written. And then, topic discussed include grammar, such as the use of tenses, improving vocabulary, and other grammatical function is applied to communication in English. Okay, I will repeat once more so that it's more clear. Yeah. In point B, English description for computer science, it means that this course is designed to introduce the students of computer science on the basic concept of the use of English for the oral and written. And then, for the topic discussed, include grammar, such as the use of tenses, there is also improving vocabulary and other grammatical function is applied to communication in English. Yeah. Okay. okay. In here, before I continue for the next slide, I have some words motivation. For you. Okay. Before I continue for the next slides, I would like to give for some words motivation for you. Okay. I have some words and it can be as your motivation for learning English. Once more. I have some words and it can be as your motivation for improving your English. Okay. There are four words that can motivate yourself for learning English. There are four words motivation that can motivate yourself for learning English. What are they? The first word motivation, it is the word for begin. Yes. Begin. Begin. Yeah. What does it mean? It means that uh, to take charge your life by beginning something. Yeah. It means that for beginning something, when you want to do something, you have to begin. You have to. You have to the word begin at yourself when you want to do. Exactly before you are learning English, you have to create the word begin at yourself because your future determined by what you have to begin. Yeah. So, the first word motivation is begin. Yeah. Let us begin when we want to do something. When we want to do let us uh, create ourselves for the word begin yeah, at yourself. Yeah. So that it can be as 
motivation for learning English. Okay, and then the second word motivation, it is imagine. Yes, imagine. Imagine. What does it mean? It means as imagination. Imagination for your dreaming. Once more, imagination for your dreaming. You have to imagine what is your dream after you have done. You have to imagine what is your dream after you have learned. After you have learning English, you have to imagine what is your dream. Because it is the first way, it is the first step toward achieving your dream. Okay. And then the third word motivation, it is laugh. Yeah. It is laugh. Yes. Laugh. Smile and laugh. It means that laughter. When you are learning English, it will be better for laughter. Let us think that English is fun. Uh, don't think that English is difficult, but let us think that English is fun. So, it will be better for laughter when you are learning English. Because laughter is a direct happen for keeps your healthy. <laughs> and then, the fourth word motivation, it is belief. Yes. Belief. Belief. It means, yeah, it means that uh, you have to believe in yourself that you can. You have to believe, you have to believe in yourself that you can success for learning English. You have create at yourself for the word believe so that can motivate yourself for learning English. You have to believe in yourself that you can. You have to believe in yourself that you can success for learning English. So it needs for set your mind to practice your success. Once more, so it needs for set your mind to predict your success. May you get success. May you get success exactly for learning English. Okay. Okay, that's our four words motivation from me to you so that it can be as your motivation for learning English. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that it can be useful for you. Okay. Okay, are you ready? We will continue for the next slide. Once more. Are you ready? I will continue for the next slide. Okay. And then, next English class online, please you are expected to be able for writing a summary of material in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English based on chapter 4 second meeting. The text have to be handwritten and sent to via Google Classroom. Okay, I will repeat once more. The next English class online learning, please, you are expected to be able for writing a summary of material in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English based on chapter 4 meeting 2. The text have to be handwritten and sent to via Google Classroom. Okay, this one is the list of the questions that you will write and explain in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English. Okay, read it together. Read the slide above carefully. 
Oke. Okay. Read the slide about carefully. Once more, read the slide above carefully and, and then answer the questions below. Read the slide above carefully and then answer the questions below. There are five list questions. Questions number one. What do you think about English? Question number one. What do you think about English? Question number two. According to you, is English important for you? Why? Question number two. According to you, is English important for you? Why? Question number three. Do you like studying English? Question number three. Do you like studying English? Question number four. What is the difference between EFL and EST? Question number four. What is the difference between EFL and EST? Question number five. Make a such conclusion about the text above. Question number five. Make a such conclusion about the text above. Okay? This one is the list of questions that you will write and explain in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English. Okay? I will continue next. Instructions. Okay, there are the instructions. The instruction is, Please you are ready with yourself to do for answering the text above. The tax is done by handwriting in your heaviest paper. Finally, you have to collect your tax through via Google Classroom. You may do your tax as follows instructions. Number one, you may decide where will you go to find the place. Number two, you may discuss your tax with your friends. But no copy paste for the same answer. Then collect your assignment for the next meeting. And number three, you may do your tax by working from home. Okay, I will give the instruction once more so that it's more clear. Yeah. Next English class online learning. Please, you already expect it to be able for writing a summary of the material in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English based on chapter 4 second meeting based on the chapter 4 meeting 2 and then the text have to be handwritten and sent to via Google Classroom Okay, before I close the class, once more, I will give the instruction so that it is more clear. The instruction, next English class online learning, please you are expected to be able for writing a summary of material in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English based on chapter 4 second meeting and then the text have to be handwritten and sent to via Google Classroom. Thank you. Don't forget for the list of questions that you will write and explain in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English. There are five list questions. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this one, this, this one is uh, the list of five questions that you will write and explain in the form of stories paragraph by your own words in English. Don't forget your talks. You, don't, don't forget you have to collect your talks to via Google 
classroom. Yeah. Okay. I think just enough for my online English class today. I would like to say thank you very much for your joining. See you for the next week. Bye.